Hello, welcome to The Innovative Economy, where we discover the future of money, markets, and payments, and how to thrive, not only survive, in a changing economy. So today we're going to look at what is a credit score. And in the United States, we call it a FICO score. So what is a FICO score? A FICO score is a credit risk score. So if you're a good credit risk, um, you'll have a good credit score. And so what's FICO? FICO is the name, uh, short for the name of the company, Fair Isaac Company, which was established in 1956. But the banks didn't start using the FICO score until the 1980s in order for somebody to get a loan. So it's a bit backward thinking. So I want you, if you don't have a credit score yet, all right, and chances are if you're 18 and under, you don't have a credit score. If you don't have a credit card and you never got a loan, you don't have a credit score. And guess what? Banks will not lend to you unless you have a credit score. So how do you get a credit score? Well, you have to borrow money. <laughs> so how can you borrow money if you don't have a credit score? Uh, well, let's look at that first. How can you borrow money to establish a credit sco score? You can go to a couple different banking, online banking institutions. Uh, one of them that's very good is Capital One, where you can apply for a secured credit card. And uh, let's say somebody who's uh, 17, 18, 19, 20 is just starting out and they want to get credit, a credit score can actually start with a secured credit card with a low limit balance of let's say 200 or $250. So that's a good way to start. And then how do you get the score? So once you have that prepaid credit card, uh, that's the very beginning. Now use it. Okay, use it to go get uh, something at the store, toilet paper, <laughs> gallon of milk, okay? But use only 10% of that credit card. And again, this is with any credit card. If you keep your balances 10% or under of what your total credit line is, that will continue to increase your credit score. So if you have a credit card that has a, a credit limit of let's say $2,500, then you can actually charge up to $250, 10% of that credit limit and continue to make payments on that and keep it under 10%. Now, as you make payments on that, you're gonna see your credit score increase. And why does your credit score increase? Because you are borrowing money off your credit card when you borrow money from the credit card, you use your credit card, um, you are increasing your credit score, your FICO score. So in order to get a loan for a new home or a car, you need a credit score. And right now to purchase a property, uh, it's a requirement of your credit score being 650, 650 or higher. Uh, in a downturn economy, we might see credit scores be dropped uh, for approvals. So you may have a credit score of 550 or 580. And we'll see as the downturn economy, in order to stimulate the economy and allow for more people to borrow money from the banks, we're going to see that credit score go down uh, in order to, and, and you'll be able to get approval for a loan when you're at maybe even 580. So the higher your credit score, the more money that the bank will loan you or the better interest rate you will receive from the loan, okay? The FICO score, the Fair Isaac scoring system, ranges at a low 350 and a high 850. So if you have an 850 credit score, you'll get the best interest rate the bank will offer. That's called a prime rate. You'll receive the best interest rates that a bank will offer for a loan. Okay, so um, as we see uh, an economy where people are not going to the bank and borrowing money, then lenders will open it up and accept a lower credit score for loans. 
Uh, so as I was saying now, today, um, you can get a loan all the way down to 650 uh, credit score. And as the economy worsens, you'll see lenders start to open it up, borrowing opportunities for credit scores as low as maybe 580 or even down to 550. We'll, we'll wait and see. Um, so it's important to have a credit score in order to borrow money. Okay, that's the only reason. It's a credit risk score. And the only reason you need to make sure uh, that you keep that a good score is so that you can borrow money. You can receive a loan, a car loan or a house loan. Okay, and so anything over 700 is considered a really good score. And uh, anything, uh, like I said, anything between 650 to 700 right now, you can still borrow money at a higher interest rate. Okay, so that's the credit scoring system. And uh, Fair Isaac, the FICO score, why is it important? Because it shows the banks, if they're gonna take a risk and loan you money, uh, they need to see your scoring system. So it's like a credit report card. Okay, we'll talk later.